Hey guys, to cut and slice text like this in DaVinci Resolve, let's go ahead and bring our Fusion Composition clip straight to the Fusion page. And the first thing we're going to do here is to bring in a text node. And then let's just go ahead and write our text. And I'm also going to change the font type here to extra bold and to bring the size all the way up here for the sake of this example. Now the next thing we're going to do is to bring a rectangle masking node, connect that to the text node, and we're going to bring out the width quite a bit there and then let's just push this masking node probably towards the middle of this text and then let's put this masking node also on a little bit of an angle and the next thing we're going to do is to copy this text note and then paste instance. Then let's connect this original text note to this new one as a foreground. And we're going to do the same thing. Let's uh, copy a rectangle a masking note here and then paste instance and then connect this new instance rectangle masking note to the instance text note. Now let's come to this new instance note here. Let's right click invert in the menu, select the instance. Let's click invert. So now uh, you will see that these two masking notes pretty much cover the entire text. But if we zoom in a little bit, you're gonna see that there's a bit of a gap in between, although there shouldn't be. So to fix this, let's right click the height parameter here in the menu, again, these instance, and then let's just to bring down this height setting uh, ever so slightly. And this is going to fix the problem. All right, so now let's uh, bring in a transform node and uh, connect that to the background text node. Now let's come to the merge node here. We're going to keyframe the center parameter. Then let's move over a few frames. We're going to keyframe the center parameter again by moving it over to the left and then up a little bit. And then we're going to come to the transform node, do the same thing for the lower part of this text. So we're going to keyframe uh, this uh, center parameter here and then we're going to move over a few frames. We're going to push it down and then over to the right. So now once that's done, guys, you will see that uh, uh, this is right now doing what exactly what we needed to do. Now let's bring up the spline editor and we're going to select both the transform and the merge nodes. Uh, at the same time, click the center uh, parameters here and then we're going to bring up the easing and ease out setting. We're going to make uh, these changes simultaneously to, uh, to both nodes. And now if we close this and have a look, guys, this effect is now looking uh, way much better uh, with the changes that we just made to uh, the easing and the ease out for, uh, for the keyframes. Now the next thing we're going to do is to bring a shadow node and we're going to connect that to the foreground text node. We're going to add a little bit of depth uh, to this effect here. So now uh, let's just go ahead and make changes to the uh, shadow offset setting here bring that down and then bring up the shadow softness this is highly dependent on your preference guys me personally i think a strong a soft a shadow is going to work really well for this effect one problem at this point is that if we were to bring a background node and then we have a look at this text on the default black background you're gonna see that it looks fine but if we were to change the color of this background to something else that's not black you're gonna see that this entire upper part of uh, the text is getting the shadow, which in my mind does not look that realistic and also doesn't look that great. So to fix this, what we can do is to copy the instance uh, a little rectangle, a masking node, and then paste instance again. And then we're going to connect this to the shadow node here. And then we're going to see right away that this is going to cut out most of the shadows and this is looking way much better and if you think that this is too sharp all we can do is to come to the soft edge setting here right click and then de-instance it and then we're going to just bump up the soft edge setting a little bit here so in my opinion guys this is this shadow is more realistic and it looks better than what we had before all right trucking along here let's come to the shadow node and let's go to the settings page Let's come to the beginning of this clip and bring this blend setting all the way down to zero. Let's keyframe it and then let's move over a few frames and then bring the blend setting all the way up uh, to one. So now uh, let's uh, bring up the spline editor. Let's just make sure that uh, we make the same changes to uh, the easing and ease out as we made earlier. Now let's come back to the edit page, let this effect render, and you guys can see that now this is the uh, slice text effect that we saw earlier in the intro, and you can cut and slice this text any way that you want. Now, speaking of that, one last thing I wanna mention here is that if we were to come back to the Fusion page, and if we were to just make change to the first rectangle masking node here, let's say we change the uh, angle or center settings here, all these changes will be applied automatically to all the other uh, masking node. And the reason is because we copy and paste instance instead of just the regular copy and paste. So that's just something I wanna quickly touch on. And yeah, you guys, this is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And as always, I will see you next time.